great day for the Lincoln High School Marching Patriots. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us here under our beautiful new lights at Lincoln High School as we celebrate the 2023 Lincoln Patriot Marching Band and wish them luck on their journey to Indianapolis this weekend. Over the course of the next 45 minutes or so, we will recap the incredible 2023 season, introduce to you our 45 incredible seniors, and present our 2023 production, Fabric of Time, for the final time here in Sioux Falls. Our season began back in May when we introduced our Fabric of Time concept for the first time and welcomed in an outstanding freshman class of 47 members. Students worked hard throughout the summer with weekly sectionals, camps, and choreographed sessions. Starting in late July, the members participated in full day rehearsals and as we put together the entire show to take it to the field. In mid-September, we competed for the first time in Marshall, Minnesota. The ensemble gave a phenomenal first performance and earned second place honors out of more than 25 bands in competition finishing just six tenths of a point behind a very talented Brandon Valley group. Oh, you can clap for that, absolutely. The next weekend we traveled four hours south to compete in the Bands of America Iowa Regional Event. Lincoln qualified for the finals and gave two incredible performances throughout the day. The band scored in the 80s which is the earliest in a season Lincoln has ever reached that peak at a Bands of America event. Their score was 80.025, and that was the sixth highest score in the entire country and earned them the silver medal at the Iowa event. Just last weekend, the band competed along 37 other bands at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Lincoln qualified in second place for the finals, just one point behind Rosemont, and in the finals the group again earned second place honors while also receiving recognition for the best color guard during the day, the top visual general effects score at both performances, and the top musical general effects score in the prelims. Our drum majors were also awarded the top drum majors. Seniors have meant so much to our success and they deserve their moment in the spotlight. So we're going to take some time to recognize them and some of their family members and congratulate them on their incredible accomplishments this year. Let's meet our class of 2024. Our first senior is Max Altena. Accompanied tonight by his mom, Molly. His plans for the fall are to attend a four-year college to major in history. His favorite memory of being a part of this group is when Jonathan Wayne pulverized his trombone when he fell on it during rehearsal. <laughs> bus for a trip. You will not live it down. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan and Dara. <laughs> Essence Antelope. Essence is a field commander and is accompanied tonight by her mom, Sarah. In the fall, Essence plans to attend an undecided university to study in biology. When asked what this program means, Essence responds, this program has meant more to me than anything else these past four years. You guys are my family, and I don't think I will ever find the words to express how truly grateful I am to have been a part of such a beautiful art. I love you guys with all my heart. Owen Bachelor. Owen is accompanied tonight by his parents, Paul and Erica. Owen is a, Trump, is a tuba section leader. He plans to attend a cool college in the fall. <laughs> His favorite memory of the program is during Queen's Gambit when they played the opening hit the first time because of how cool it sounded. Ladies and gentlemen, Owen Bachelor.
Jessalyn Bowder. Jessalyn is a member of the Color Guard and is accompanied by her parents, Candy and Terry. Jessalyn plans to attend either USD or SDSU in the fall to major in nursing. Her advice to underclassmen, although it's a lot of hard work, early mornings, late nights, and uncomfortable bus rides, it's worth every minute of it. Soak in every moment you can because it really is gone before you know it and you'll never experience anything quite like this again. Ladies and gentlemen, Jessalyn Bowser. Brooke Bergen. Brooke is accompanied by her parents, Blaine and Wendy, and is in the drum line. Brooke plans to attend college in the fall and major in pre-med. She also hopes to be able to continue dance and band in college. Her favorite memory from all four years of marching was this year at the BOA Iowa Regional when they hit the very last note in the finals and she turned to look at the dress, tears just started going down her face. She says, I already didn't have my glasses on so I became even more blind. <laughs> I felt the most proud and happy and excited for the years to come that the group I was a part of gets to continue this activity and I get to remember it in all its glory. I could not have asked for a better drum line that makes me such joy, which brings it 100 times harder to leave it. Ladies and gentlemen, Brooke Bergen. <laughs> Garrett Bolches. Garrett is a percussionist and is accompanied by his parents, Grant and Leslie. Garrett plans to attend a two-year flight school in the fall. His advice to underclassmen, it's not about the trophy, but instead the experiences you have and the people you meet along the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Garrett Bolches. <laughs> Annika Bruner. Annika is a mellophone section leader and is accompanied by her parents, Mike and Amy. Annika plans to attend SDSU in the fall to major in mechanical engineering. Her advice to underclassmen, enjoy it while it lasts, have fun, work hard, but don't take things too seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, Annika Bruner. <laughs> Kyan Carlson. Kyan is accompanied by his parents, Kevin and Andrea. He is one of our six field commanders. In the fall, Kyan plans to attend St. Olaf College in Northfield, Minnesota, majoring in music, music and business. What has the Lincoln Band meant to Kyan? He says, growing up, the Lincoln Band was always a huge part of my life. At age three, I was already trying my best to conduct at the lift at spat camp. Having my parents behind the scenes of the band writing drill and teaching mellows meant I was always in the thick of things, attending every show I can remember. I travel back to those days when we all felt like babies just trying to find our footing among the seasoned upperclassmen. Freshman year was intense and exhilarating in its own right. But then sophomore year rolled around and we pushed ourselves further redefining what we thought was possible. Each year since, we've strived to elevate our game, setting the bar even higher, with this year witnessing us create together what I believe is purely a crowning achievement. My journey with the band hasn't been about just about music and marching. It's taught me discipline and the importance of trusting humble beginnings. It's taught me that it's perfectly okay to start off as a baby and something occurs. This program has proven to me that no matter where you start, and no matter how impossible something may seem, it can always be mastered in the end. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaya Carlson. <laughs> Abby Clark. Abby is accompanied by her parents, Matt and Pam. She plays the clarinet and plans to attend Augie or USD in the fall and major in psychology or pre-law. Her favorite memory from being a part of the marching band was having bus rides with Ireland and our weird, endless conversations, especially the buildings at YIM and our plastic water bottle franchise idea. <laughs> Good luck out there, and thanks for always having my back. I'll miss you like crazy next year. Ladies and gentlemen, Abby Clark. <laughs> Samantha Cooper. Samantha is accompanied by her parents, Jason and Julie. In the fall, Samantha plans to attend college majoring in international business. Her advice to the underclassmen is to put your all into everything the band does, no matter how big or small it may seem. Even when you're tired, it's hot or cold outside, or you're simply tired of being around everyone, 
show up and give it your all for everyone else. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Cooper. <laughs> Adriana Dopenberg. Adriana is accompanied by her parents, Eric and Lisa. In the fall, Adriana plans to attend a four-year university with majors in flute performance and music composi comp composition with a minor in linguistics. Ladies and gentlemen, Adriana Dopenberg. <laughs> Rachel Eden. Rachel is accompanied by her parents, Tim and Christy. In the fall, she plans to attend USD to major in anthropology. Her favorite memory of being in the group is when she got a black eye from getting hit by her flag a week before BOA in her sophomore year. Also, the Golden Colorado parking lot where they were on their buses waiting to leave and Olivia Allen, a senior that year, made a song for her and sang it on the bus's microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, Rachel Eden. Clark is one of the 2023 drum majors. He is accompanied by his parents, Paul and Christy. Clark plans to attend Augustana in the fall to major in chemistry. Clark says this program has given me a place to belong. It's given me a supportive and accepting family to help me grow and figure out who I am. Ladies and gentlemen, Clark Eglin. Trinity Inslee. Trinity is a captain of our sound team. She's accompanied by her parents, Dawn and Justin. In the fall, Trinity plans to go into the workforce and travel. Trinity explains, this program has been my family for the past seven years. I've grown up with the Lincoln Band and am looking forward to continuing to see it grow. Ladies and gentlemen, Trinity Inslee. Ellie Urbantrout. Ellie is a field commander of the group and is accompanied by Tara. In the fall, Ellie plans to attend a four-year school, likely somewhere in the Midwest, where she will major in trumpet performance and possibly something in physics or engineering. Ellie's advice for underclassmen, never take anything for granted, whether that's in this band or in your own life. Never stop working your tail off and always be grateful for every moment you get to be with the people you love and doing the things you love. Ladies and gentlemen, Ellie Urban Trout. <laughs> Addison Eskin. Addison is a member of our guard and is accompanied by Lizette Eskin. Addison plans to attend a four-year school in the fall with an interest in fine arts. Addison says, my favorite memory was performing Queen's Gambit in the U.S. Bank Stadium. It was a memorable point in my marching band career that got me to stick with the program for all four years because that was when I realized that I liked performing. Ladies and gentlemen, Addison Eskin. <laughs> Olivia Frisky. Olivia is a member of the Guard and is accompanied by Tanya and Rowan Frisky. Her plan for the fall is to attend college and major in history. Her favorite memory is going to IHOP after a performance and someone spilling gravy in her hair. <laughs> Thanks, Lexi Hop. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Olivia Frisky. <laughs> Nick Kedley. Nick is a member of the Euphonium section. He's accompanied by Susan Dahl and Ron Kedley. In the fall, Nick plans to attend the University of Nevada for biomedical engineering. His favorite memory was the retreat at BOA, Iowa. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Headley. <laughs> Dakota Jackson. Dakota is a member of the trumpet section. He is accompanied by his parents, Fred and Jen. Dakota plans to attend a university located anywhere other than South Dakota. His advice is to use the bathroom at the back of the bus as if everyone will appreciate you doing so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dakota Jackson. <laughs> Avery Jibben. Avery is a member of the trumpet section and is accompanied by his mom, Carrie. Avery plans to attend an undecided
State College in the fall. His favorite memory is getting stuck in an elevator with 16 other people, including Mr. Balta. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Avery Gibbon. Yeah! Aiden Johanny. Aiden is a member of the trombone section and is accompanied by his parents, Monty and Aaron. Aiden plans to attend Purdue University to major in nuclear engineering. His favorite memory is the first time he played tuning and chords with the whole ensemble. He says, I thought it was so cool. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Aiden Johan. <laughs> Shalom Cato. Shalom is a member of the flute section and is accompanied by Jedediah Cato. In the fall, Shalom plans to attend a four-year college and major in social psychology. Shalom says, marching, marching band is a home base to me when life gets rough. The humongous support that comes from each member is like a second support base. Ladies and gentlemen, Shalom Kale. <laughs> Zach Kimnitz. Zach is a field commander and is accompanied by his parents, Jason and Sarah. Zach plans to attend Concordia College in the fall and major in English. His advice for underclassmen, don't ever stop getting better. Let that practice bleed into your daily life. It's the greatest skill marching band can ever give you. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Kemmons. Seth Lingrock. Seth plays the tubas and is accompanied by his mom, Amanda. In the fall, Seth plans to attend Lake Area Tech to study aviation. His favorite memory is going to worlds of fun his sophomore year. Ladies and gentlemen, Seth Lingrock. <laughs> Reese Larson. Reese is a member of the Guard and is accompanied by her parents, Chris and Krista. Reese plans to attend college, but is undecided as to where. Her favorite memory is winning first place at BOA last year. Ladies and gentlemen, Reese Larson. <laughs> Lucien Martinez Smith. Lucien is a member of our color guard and is accompanied by Michael Smith. In the fall, Lucien plans to enlist in the South Dakota Air National Guard before applying at Southeast Technical College, where he will be majoring in accounting and real estate. His advice, enjoy the moments with your section. They'll soon become your family and the people you can rely on, whether it's just to share your thoughts or to hang out with your friends. Also, embrace the feeling you get after every performance. Your time is really limited, for me, it will only be two years, and for you it might be four. But understand that the experiences you share are what really make it worth in the long run. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucien Martinez. <laughs> William McCormick. William is a member of the sousaphone se section and is accompanied by his parents, Bill and Nicole. William is planning to attend USD in the fall to major in music education. This from William. This program has been the highlight of my high school journey, and I will forever be grateful for the strong bonds that were formed, as well as those that were strengthened through this activity. Ladies and gentlemen, William McCormick. <laughs> Michaela Murtis. Michaela is a member of the clarinet section and is accompanied by her parents, Jody and Jordan. Michaela plans to attend the University of Nebraska-Lincoln to major in veterinary science in the fall. Her advice to underclassmen, don't always get caught up in work and winning, but to remember to have fun and enjoy every moment. Ladies and gentlemen, Michaela Mervins. <laughs> Will Meyer. Will's parents are Scott and Wendy. He plans to begin college at the South Dakota School of Mines in the fall and major in chemistry. His advice, 
keep pushing because every year is special. And you want trumpet seniors grow up and becoming the amazing, most caring people to be around. I'm so thankful I'm a senior with them. My section made band so memorable, so thank you for all the fun trumpets. Ladies and gentlemen, Molly Riffle. Nadia Rue unfortunately is ill this evening and not here. But she is a member of the drum line and is accompanied by, would have been accompanied by her parents, Amy and Kyle. Nadia plans to major in psychology at a cool college somewhere far, far away. <laughs> to Nadia, this program has provided her with a support system and several long-lasting friendships. Ladies and gentlemen, Nadia Rue. <laughs> Counter Sergeant. Connor is a field commander in the group and a company. 
accompanied by his parents, Kylie and Todd. Connor plans to attend USD to major in business and music performance. What has this group meant to him? The band has been a way for me to grow as a person. Because of the band, I've learned what it means to be dedicated, work hard, and it grew my passion for music and performing. I can't thank everybody that has been part of this program enough. They've helped me become the person I want to be. Ladies and gentlemen, Connor Sargent. Ian Smith. Ian is a member of the Euphonium section and is accompanied by his parents, Les and Lori. Ian plans to attend college in the fall and study biomedical sciences. His favorite memory, BOA Iowa in 2022 and the excitement we all shared after breaking rings. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian Smith. Shay is a field commander and is accompanied by his parents, Carolyn and Quinn. Shay plans to attend the University of Minnesota and major in plant science. His favorite memory, the feeling of coming off the field at Youth and Music after what felt like a perfect run of Queen's Gambit. Ladies and gentlemen, Shay Steen. Xander Tomjak. Xander is a member of our trumpet section, and he is accompanied by his mom, Megan. He is planning to attend Concordia in the fall to major in something unknown. His advice for the underclassmen, really savor every moment you get, because these last four years have just disappeared, gone faster than I ever could have imagined. And now that it's almost over, I'm at least happy I can look back and think of all the amazing memories I've made. Ladies and gentlemen, Xander Tomjak. John Wang. John's parents are currently moving his brother back and are unable to join him this evening, so he's accompanied by Mr. Balta and Mr. Carlson. John plans to attend college at the University of Minnesota, and his advice to underclassmen is to practice your music and memorize it. Sure, that's what you say when you're standing next to Mr. Carlson and Mr. Balta. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Wayne. Last but not least, Emma Zimmerman. Emma is a member of our clarinet section and is accompanied by her parents, Travis and Amy. Emma plans to attend Augustana in the fall to major in pre-med. One of her favorite memories was being able to retreat on to the field after BOA finals and getting to talk to people from different bands. Ladies and gentlemen, Emma Zimmerman. 